we were all instantly saying, oh, we know him. You know, he came, he was here, and he had such a positive impact, and everyone loved him. Kelsey Guthrie was in fourth grade at the time at St. Teresa's Catholic School in Belleville, Illinois. These photos snapped in 2002 with then Bishop Wilton Gregory during the annual Catholic school parade and picnic. He made Catholic school theology and cool for our area just because he was so down to earth and he wasn't self-righteous at all. He was one of the people here. Archbishop Gregory was born in Chicago and ordained a priest here in the 1970s. He served as an associate pastor at Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Glenview, as a faculty member at St. Mary of the Lake Seminary in Mundelein, and as a master of ceremonies to Cardinals John Cody and Joseph Bernadine. In 1983, he was ordained an auxiliary bishop in Chicago before being installed as the bishop in Belleville. In 2004, he was appointed bishop of Atlanta, then last year named Bishop of Washington, D.C. And the spirit here in Washington has just been tremendous. Gregory has also served three times as the head of the U.S. Conference of Bishops. We were so proud of who he who he was here, who he has become, and who he will be, you know, with the Vatican. Has been and remains a cherished friend. The Cardinal appointment is winning praise from LGBTQ advocates days after Pope Francis voiced support for civil unions for gay couples. Gregory has long supported LGBTQ church members and their parents, feeling they should be welcome in the Catholic Church. Many feel the timing is also noteworthy given the attention on racial injustice in the U.S. this year. It's just showing that the Catholic Church is evolving with the sign of the times and moving forward. So for me, it's incredibly hopeful. Cardinal Blaise Supich sent this statement today saying, while we take particular pride in this recognition of a dedicated priest whom we are proud to claim as our own, we are also moved that Pope Francis chose this compassionate, thoughtful pastor when our nation and the world uh, are in desperate need of healing and courageous leadership. An official ceremony is planned on November 28th. Other new cardinals being appointed are from Italy, Rwanda, the Philippines, and Chile. Now there is talk because of COVID-19 and travel restrictions. Could that impact that ceremony? We'll have mm. to see what happens mm. with that.